This is a trebuchet built by George Reitbauer and Bruce Janey. Now the trebuchet is built on a boat trailer. In this case, it still has the traveling wheels on it, and that allows us to help put it in the position where we want it. Our first step then is to make sure the ground is level. So in this case, I'm going to use a little bit of sand to level underneath the wheels. Uh, it's then going to be sitting on pieces of plywood. The traveling wheels are ready to come off. And we have antique looking wheels that uh, give it a little bit more of that traditional look. Now this arm weighs about 120 pounds and it takes two of us to get it up into position. The support bar is added to the arm and that's what the weight's going to be attached to. Make sure it swings nice and easy. Now these plates weigh 65 pounds a piece and for today's competition we're using 12 plates so we're dropping about 780 pounds. We have added as much as 1100 pounds if we're throwing for distance. So here's our machine all set up and ready to go. Now we do have two pumpkin gargoyles which are set up to watch over our machine and hopefully bring us luck. To pull the arm down we use a pulley system. Now I've speeded it up a little bit. It usually takes us about two minutes to pull the arm down and get the pumpkin in place. So we can load this machine fairly quickly. So here are some videos from Pumpkin Chunkin up at Bald Eagle State Park. In this case we're trying to hit some targets out in the lake so we're not shooting for the longest distance. Here we see the machine in slow motion. Here's a sling releasing the pumpkin. Like I did much. You did what spinning? Yeah, it went. <laughs> We've also competed four years down in Delaware. Once in a while, things can go really wrong. But the problems we've had have simply given us a chance to figure out how to make the machine better. Nice. That's good. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a good shot.